How you doing, veterans? My name is Commander Commander Samuel Patterson. I used to be in the in the American Legion, but the American Legion and I had a big falling out along with 135 veterans because of the fact we've been paying our dues to them and they have not given us a charter. Eight years they haven't given us a charter. So that's another issue. We'll be dealing with them. But uh, we move around the Bay Area to inform veterans about their benefits, okay? This is Mike. This is one of the, this is the lender that he'll be making sure that you qualify for buying an income property, a small business, or a single family home, okay? This is Mary. Mary's been helping veterans volunteer her time to make sure she's here to um, help in any capacity that she can, okay? So, we're here to specifically stick with you to purchase some income property. And I want to talk about that income property because of the fact the mayor is looking for you veterans to purchase some income property on the land that they will set aside. You stay rent free and you will rent out your fourplex or fiveplex to um, fourplex or fiveplex. You rent it out to um, old workshop number and email address is, is there. So that you could go ahead and uh, purchase some property with your certificate. How many of you have your certificates? Raise your hands. How many of you have it? Only one. Is that my vouch? No, no, I'm talking about your certificate. We're going to press it. And I'm glad H uh, the House of Dignity is here because of the fact I, I was at that same situation where um, where I, I uh, had to get a voucher uh, to live uh, and got my life together so I could buy a home. So that's your first step. It's good, it's good at the House of Dignity that they get you a voucher, a HUD badge, but they ain't no veteran going to be, ain't no veteran going to be homeless. Period. Because you have a pension. No veteran supposed to be homeless. Okay. And uh, you would be able to uh, uh, get your feet on solid ground and then buy you some property. Our job is to make sure you get your credit score together. Make sure that if you file for your benefits, we're going to file them for you. Okay? It's as far as getting the paperwork together. What you're going to do is go in pro-per. Pro-per means that you will represent yourself. Okay? You represent yourself, but we'll do the paperwork for you. All you got to do is give them the paperwork. If you're a disabled veteran and you're trying to get your benefits increased, we do that for you. Uh, we felt this is one of the, one of the things why they, they they were so down on us because we were giving you information to get your benefits increased. You got to have two or three things wrong with you, and then have a paper trail as far as the, going to the doctor. If your leg uh, uh, hurt, then your arm hurts, and you're having problems with that, you can file for those benefits. Okay, you can file for those benefits. Two or three things. Some veterans, they only got 60%. So once we inform them that if there's anything else wrong with you, then you could go ahead and get your 100%, which will make you qualify for this man to buy you some property, some income property or single family home, okay? You got to file these documents and we'll help you file them. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have to be at 100% in order to get him to do that? Well, 60%, 60%, 60%, 80%. Okay. Because your certificate of eligibility is worth a hundred uh, 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 is worth a, a million dollars. You may, yeah, you have to be making that type of money for you have a million dollar home, but your certificate of eligibility is worth a uh, million dollars. And let me go back to that. If you don't have your certificate, right over there at the federal building on the on the on the twelfth floor, you can pick up. You're, well, you can't pick it up, but you give them your social security number, they will mail it to your house. Then you're in the game. Yeah, you got to get in the game. I got, I got Where is that? Go ahead. I got another small question. Federal yeah. building. Right there. Right there. I got a phone right call this morning from the social security department. Uh -huh. They said somebody had stole my, my social security number. That's fake. And they've been doing it's something. It's fake. Don't ask me that. It's fake. Yeah. It's fake. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I get that call, too. I get that call. There's a lot of people getting called. It's fake. Fake. Yes. No, don't call them. Social Security wouldn't call you. Yeah, it wouldn't call you. Right. No. So it's fake. Yeah, trust me. It's I get a scam. Scam. Okay. So, 
I want you. I want you to pass this around. That's it. They asked you for your social That's, security number. I said y'all should have no social security number. Do that. No, we don't have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you to pass that around. Look at that. When you have, when you have an issue, these are the type of documents you're going to have to file. You don't have to understand it. It's okay. I'll, I'll make sure that you. I'll make sure that you get. Uh, uh, yeah, just pass it around to everybody. If you got your, uh, a phone, take a picture of it. But these are the documents that you need to file for service connected, non service connected benefits. Okay? Now, service connected benefits is about $3,000 a month. Non service connected is what you get in. in you get $1,160. Yeah, you get that. But you can also raise it if other things are wrong with you. Got that out. You know, you got to file documents like this and say, well, uh, I'm getting non service connected benefits, but my leg been hurting. And you got backup proof by going to the VA or going to the doctor to prove that when we have a hearing, that uh, everything will go smooth. If you lose a hearing, if you lose, we're going to fight for you. Okay? Our paralegal is going to get down and fight for them because you serve while everybody else was partying, making babies, getting in trouble, being criminals. Yeah. Okay? Y'all serve. And we we're standing up for y'all. And we got the bullets. You know, we'll work, we'll, get, we'll take it as far as we can, and then, then we have uh, a veteran representative at Barbara Lee's office. His name is Jan. Jan will work with you once you went up the chain of command. And he's at the, he's at the, he's at the, he's at the top when you get up there to make sure that you get your benefits. My thing is, like, I'll be telling the government when I go fight them. You ain't giving these veterans nothing. Every month they serve, you took money out their check. So you ain't giving them nothing. It's what they, it's what they got coming. Our thing is the discrimination racism towards black veterans not getting their due. That's our thing. Do we got to fight? I done won 49 cases. Getting people their money, back pay. A lot of the women, the veteran husband passed away. They were supposed to get all the all the uh, benefits of part of the survival packet transferred to them, okay? But they told them when they got over there to, at, at the 12th floor in the federal building, and that's the Northern Regional Office. We've been pushing more veterans benefits through the whole nation, right across the street, okay? Right across the street. More veterans have been getting the they money and they've been owing veterans like twenty, thirty thousand dollars back pay. The VA rules and regulations say if you file or you you're looking for your benefits, they're supposed to help you, but they're not doing that. That's why we're coming out here with these classes here. We got our own people to make sure that you get uh, what's coming to you. So you guys you got you pass that around, you still pass that around? Pass it to the other veterans so they know. And what that is. Again, that's a packet. If something's wrong with you, you're going to file. It's, 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 you're working up on a Title 38, and that's just for that. I think that's just for, um, for, for, for service-connected benefits. But every category you have, you got to file documents like that. Once we look, once we talk to you, do a one-on-one, -on -one, we'll be able to make sure that we know what documents to get for you so you can file. Don't worry about losing, because if you lose it, we're going to appeal it. Okay? So to make sure that you get your due. You got Barbara Lee that's very, very um, adamant about helping veterans, you know, to work with. Okay, so I want you guys, if you got any problems, I'm gonna, I know you got your cameras. I want you to take a picture of this. This is the document in which you elevate your benefits. If you're only getting one, uh, pay for one, a payment for one uh, for one ailment, you add three or four more, and this is the code. Everything you deal with will be up on a Title 38. That's where they keep it from you. So you don't know what you what you what, what you miss. Title 38. Here, pass it around. Title 38, and you add, you add your doctor's uh, uh, paperwork along with this Title 38 to make sure that you get your benefits. Okay. No, just that one, bro. Back side? No, no, that's for another. That's it. That's this one here.
Make sure you keep, the, keep it on your phone so you know you said, well, I had two or three things wrong with me. Now I'm ready to get my benefits elevated, okay? Get it elevated. For you individuals that want to open up a small business, Okay? Name is Norman. He's a, he's a business specialist. So you make sure you take a copy of that, call Norman, tell me where you with Commander Patterson if you want to open up a small business. Now, if you, want, if you open up a small business, if you open up a small business, I will be the one to help put the proposal together for you. Whatever you need, wherever you're going to be, because we, if, if, when I go to these different cities, I talked to the mayor of them about you, know, you veterans having the possibility of uh, bringing business to their towns, okay? So you'll be working with the small SBA. I'm going to pass this around. Take a picture of it if you're going to open up a business. Pass it around. You got to get, get a phone number, get, get Norman's phone number. Once Norman, once you take your proposal to Norman, it won't be long before you start getting into uh, opening up your business, okay? And we're going to stick with you. And we're working with the SBA and a place called SCORE. In every city, there's a place called SCORE that you're able to go ahead and open up a small business with their help. Okay, like I said, I talked to all... Reason why we got this building here, talk to the city councilwoman, uh, talk about veterans, uh, making sure uh, you know they get their benefits, and they're, they're working with us. Why? Because y'all got money. You know, you should be happy today, because y'all got money. Y'all sitting on money, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a small business loan, and you get up to a million dollars for a home loan or income property loan. Okay, you see what I'm saying? You get at least that much. What's the interest rate? Very low. It's the lowest. It's capped too, so it won't go. It won't be elevated. I thought it was three percent interest. <sighs> well, talk to Norman. Okay, Norman comes and speaks to to, to the veterans. Once you guys start getting together, who uh, want to open businesses, and I, I talked to the, the ones that's not here today. They open up businesses, so they didn't feel they want to come today because of the fact they had heard this speech before. They heard my loud mouth before. Okay, but we be working with this with the Small Business Administration now. We have. Credit repair, and we're serious about that. I don't care what type of credit you think you got. You got a million dollars to play with. They're going to make some concessions and deals with you. For you, okay, for you, the house, the small business, no money down for you veterans. No money down, okay? I'm going to pass this around because this is the law firm you need to get with. They're going to dispute all your dealings with your with these business people. Some of them, they're going to kick to the curb, but it's over seven years. They need to take it off your credit report. You feel me? How much does it cost? It's going to cost you about $45. But the more veterans that we turn on to this, this company, uh, the more uh, the price will drop for y'all. They're going to give you a break. You know? But they're going to contact people. And I, and I'm, I'm showing you this. And this, this is me. I'm showing you what they're doing for me. They're going to kick people, kick people off my, my credit report. report. You know, I, get, I got more credit cards now. <clears throat> we veterans are about to have a fashion show, which I want you guys to support. We're paying the models. We're paying Eddie. We're paying um, all the individuals involved so that we can continue to have these workshops for free. Okay? So, I'm going to pass you this. Probably the barber. No, that's the lady with the snacks. There you go. To Jesus and get the email address so you can get at them. What's the they're name gonna, they're gonna make sure that they take all the bad things off your credit report. 
They're going to contact these people. That's why I showed you the letter, what they did for me. They're going to show you, they're going to, they're going to show, they're going to make sure they contact these people and get this stuff off your credit report. My thing is, I'll be checking with you every 90 days. Are you doing what you're supposed to do by staying on a straight and narrow for your credit report? These individuals, these individuals who make sure that they contact everybody that's, that, that, that's negative on your report. And if you, want to make, if you wanted to start paying some of these individuals $10, $12, $13 a month, well, you're going to negotiate that because what does that do? It repairs your credit. It repairs your credit. Okay? It repairs your credit. So I'm going to pass this around. It's called Lexington Law. And this is their email address. Take a picture of it with your phone. <laughs> Lexington Law. Here, pass that around to everybody. <laughs> They're going around. Making sure that it goes around. Pass it around. Make sure Lexington Law, you need to get at them. Lexington Law will make sure that all negative things on your report is taken up, taken care of. That's why you got an email address to email them today. Tell them you're a veteran. Tell them you're working with uh, Commander Patterson so you can get your little discount. To start repairing your credit immediately. Okay? <laughs> Lexington Law. You got the email address? Is it still circulating for the email address? Okay, he already got it. <laughs> you have the card for Norman if you want to open up a business, but you need to tell me if you're going to open up a small business. I'm going to be the one to help put your proposal together. I'm going to put, 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 put it together. And then on 14th Broadway, there's an office called SCORE. SCORE is going to help you tweak it and help find some lenders. We're going to mess with our lender right here to make sure you get on board to uh, secure that loan. So question. Yes. Do you have to have like a business plan? Yes. I'm, I was going to put that together. You help, so they go to yes. you first to get that. Yes. So we, the person would just tell you their ideas, how much they're looking for, or what? Uh, for example, if an individual was going to open up a beauty salon, I would make sure to find out what type of curlers they want in, the, in there, what type of drapes they want in there, what type of machines they want in there, uh, you know, mm -hmm. blow dryers for women. Mm -hmm. We'll set all that up. We will talk to the city about making sure you in a, a zoning area to put up a beauty salon. Okay? Or a restaurant. Uh, we'll talk to them for you and see if you can get a little discount because you're a veteran getting this small business loan to put some people to work. Okay? So we'll make sure you get, get that together. Uh, you're going to know have to know about getting you a truck, the advertisement for, for your company. The truck, you need to know the uh, you need to know the tank sizes. You need to know how much it would it would be to tune that vehicle up. You need to know how much gas you're going to need for a whole year. That goes into your proposal, okay? Your supplies, how much, how much is that going to be for you to be able to run your business, okay? Lighted areas and things of that nature. As long as you're a veteran, we'll try to strike a deal with the city for you to have a nice business. Have it well lit, well lit you know, and people coming to your business so because uh, you've been putting some individuals to work. So, Norman is the man. You want to open up a business, you talk to me first, because I've, I've already met with SCORE, and they're waiting for me to put the proposals together, then see their office. It's like a 14th and, what is that, Broadway? About 14th and Broadway, okay? About 14th and Broadway. So, you'll be able to go, go there, and we'll be able to go take advantage 
of, of, of scores offices, and they'll be giving workshops for, for the individual owner of a business and also uh, for, to purchase uh, uh, income property. And everybody's high on that for you veterans. Purchase of income property so you can rent out to low-income individuals. Okay, so this is Sandra, our real estate agent. You better give a hand. Yay! That's our girl. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. We're going to let Mike take over at this particular time. But before we do that, Eddie, I want you to come up and tell them uh, the, the, uh, the date of that last uh, workshop. You said you had it? The Richmond one? I have it on email, but I don't have the... Okay. Because I don't know the uh, particular... It, it, it was that date. What was the date? Oh, I have it. Yeah. I have Don't you have it on file? I don't... I can't recall it right. Okay, okay, you get, okay, no problem. But, it's, but, uh, but anyway, yeah. tell them how to get in contact mm -hmm. with getting this video and for that one, okay? Okay, to, to get the... Uh, Eddie, stand in front of the camera so they can look at it when they pull it up. Please, sir. Oh, okay. Let me see how I'm going to do this, okay? <laughs> to get to the workshops... You would go to EddieCam1, that's E-D-D-Y-C-A-M-1, EddieCam1, on YouTube. You write that down. And pull up. We got a We should ask a pen, too. And you would pull up. Um, local 9. It's, it's Veterans uh, 189 uh, workshop. What Email month, me. What month was that? Do you remember what month that was? We just came out of Richmond, y'all. Yeah. That okay. ended that what? Huh? All right, that's E D D Y C A M 1. And that's on YouTube. And that's e all one word. C A M 1. Yeah. And then you would go to... Is it one, the letter one, or O-E-E? The number one. The number one. Okay. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. And then you go to the Veterans Post 198 workshop. Vet? Yeah, this will keep you in contact 198. with the work we've been doing. They have beautiful layouts. They're all there on tape. That's why we that's why we pay Eddie. Yeah, he don't do it for free. <laughs> we love it though. Hey, you said Veteran 198? Yeah. yeah. Veteran 198. Trust the states. At this particular time, at this particular time, I'm bring Mike up. And you, you can't get a hold of these videos. It's very important that you do. You don't have it, you have my hey the barber, and give a hand and give the barber a hand. Yeah. I need a haircut. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's right, we're gonna take care of you veterans. Because y'all worth money. And I don't know if you've been joking around with your money or not. Yes, they have. But the deal is, if you die, ain't nobody get nothing. Hello? If you die, don't nobody get nothing. We try to make sure you get your benefits. This is all free to you veterans? Because you work money. And I like hanging around people with money. Ain't that right, Mary? Right. <laughs> well, I want Mary must have got Mary. Hey, you know my mom's name was Mary. Mary Joyce Turner. Really? Yeah. So yeah. What, what I'm going to do, make sure you get that. If you don't, if you missed, if you didn't get that information, Email me. I'm giving you my email, email address. I'll send that tape to Eddie makes to you. He makes great tapes. Goes over. He 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 he, he puts the thing together so that uh, you can understand. You know what's going on. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn the floor over to Mike. So this is the lender. Once you get your credit together. Once you get your credit together. And you're ready to move on to buy that property. You be talking to this man right here. So let's, let's, let's give let's give Mike a hand. So, like I said, my name is Mike. 
and uh, thank you all for serving. Appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll talk about, it's more of going to be like an open format, so you guys can ask any questions that you think talk about, so you guys have a better understanding, okay? So, um, so I work with Fairway Independent Mortgage, which is a big company here in uh, California and also throughout the 50 states. So we're licensed everywhere. So just in case you guys wanted to get your certificate of eligibility and move and move out of state, you know, it's a little bit cheaper or something like that. Yeah. You guys are more than happy to, or even out of the barrier or you know, into the valley, things like that, okay? So the certificate of eligibility is, um, it's, um, it's the document that you get from either the, you get from the VA office or you can get them online. Only can help with that, okay. okay? And it's very easy and simple, and it gives you an idea of what you're, if you're eligible for it, and also if you're exempt from uh, this funding fee, it's called, okay? So from there, you'll be able to see exactly what you qualify for. What you qualify for, okay? So, with the VA loan, you don't have to necessarily have a, a whole bunch of money. You know, you don't have to make so much. You can really qualify for uh, with what you guys have, and it'll just depend on what you guys want to buy for. If you guys want to buy for a million dollars, obviously you'll need to make you know a good amount of money. So it's about eighty to hundred thousand. If you guys want to, okay. The good thing about the VA program is it's zero percent down, okay. If you guys want to buy it for a higher amount, say for example, if you guys qualify for half a million, zero percent down, but if you guys want to qualify for more than that, then you would have to get the rest of the difference. You would have to put the down payment or whatever to make you qualify for that amount, okay? And so, uh, when buying a home, there's many factors going into it. There's, you know, income, assets, credit, so, and also affordability. You know, we need to make sure that you can pay back, okay? So, with credit, um, the credit score, the minimum credit score is 580. 580 FICO score, but the better you have the credit score, the better it is. The better interest payments, interest rate, everything like that. More opportunities, more programs. Okay? The income, just make sure that you have a consistent, consistent income. Make sure that you're working, you know, consistently, uh, making your hourly rate, working your 40 hours, things like that, so you can get the most out of your, your loan. Okay? And then on the credit, uh, income, assets, credit, okay, then assets. Um, assets is more for if you guys wanted to do something more bigger, if you guys want to do like a multi-unit property, um, rental income. Good thing is that when you buy a rental income, say you want to buy a fourplex for this case, right? You're going to live in one and rent the other three out. So the other three out is positive cash flow, so you'll be able to buy for a higher loan amount than you expected. So if you qualify for a single family for 500, you most likely for a four-unit four property, you probably qualify for a million. And not even have to put anything down. Okay? Interest rates on the VA loans probably about three and a half percent, if lower, depending. And there's a lot of help regarding, uh, like help with closing costs, things like that. So when you buy a home, you put zero percent down, but you still have to pay the closing costs. But there's many programs here in California that help you just pay the get the closing costs and have them pay pay for it, and you get zero percent everything. So you don't have to bring in any money, things like that. Okay, that's good. And that's called Cal Home. Cal Home is a great program. Okay. And so there's also a lot of uh, a lot of areas here that are veteran friendly, I guess you could say. Um, you know, like Santa Rosa is big. You know, the veterans. There's places like that. Um, just to give you more like history on like the market um, in this area, it's a little more expensive as usual. I'm pretty sure you guys know. You guys see the differences in price, especially out in you know Oakland. Especially Oakland is changing a lot. Yeah. So. Oh, you good? Okay. You're good. Okay. I didn't want to overrun. No, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. So appreciate it though. I'm gonna check. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So so um, so yeah. So the barrier has changed a lot regarding price and things like that. Um, San Francisco's out of budget. I mean, very expensive. You know what I mean? Make a lot of money to get, uh, live out there. Um, also parts of the barrier, but don't get discouraged. There's a lot of opportunities. A lot of people that that want to help veterans out. I've actually had one that buy in August, and she bought a home where she got about like fifteen thousand dollars in credit. So she didn't have to bring anything in. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people want to help other veterans out, you know. So she did what fifteen what? Thousand dollars in closing cost credit. That's all? Yeah. Well she didn't bring anything down. She moved from Texas from here within a month and she bought a home. So she still she was still in the in the army. She was, yeah. I think she enlisted for life. It was like her third it was like her sixth time I think from the listing or something like that. So but it worked out for her, you know. So there's a lot of people that wanna help that, that wanna help out veterans out here, so um, so that's basically the, the long story, of the short story, I guess, of, uh, of qualifying for a loan. Um, is there anything in particular you guys have questions on regarding credit or 
income or how much this and this. What about condominiums? Condominiums as well. The only thing with condos is that they have to be uh, VA approved. Okay. But there are there is a list mm -hmm. online that we can pull up and see what's approved. Okay. okay. And condos are a lot cheaper than homes, right? You right. can buy condos for two or three hundred thousand, depending on the area, obviously. Right. Um, the only thing that there is a uh, the HOA fee. Right. So that can kind of affect a little bit on your right. purchasing card, but like I said, condos are not as expensive. Okay. Say you want to buy a home, but you want an in, uh, in-law in the back. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's what I want. So with that, that would be considered a single-family home. Okay. So it's not considered like a duplex or anything like that. So okay. you can buy a single-family home and just uh, that, 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 rent, it, rent it out you know, to a family member or, or another bedroom is fine. I got a, some friends of mine, they got a house, they got, they got a, some property up in uh, uh, Russian River. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I got pictures of it, right? They, they tried to sell it for $650,000. Oh, really? But when you see it, you see it. Yeah, yeah. It's worth a million dollars. Yeah. I'm telling you. Until the city. And, and to the town. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So definitely, you'll be able to use your better your uh, B certificate. And just take your pillow pad, make some homemade ice cream and peach cobbler pie for you. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Um, I was gonna ask. This man may not be related to you, but what had happened? Some some guys jumped me in San Francisco, right? And and they, they took my soul, my 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 knew my soul out of socket, right? I went to the St. Louis Hospital. We took an x-ray, I went to the VA hospital, told him about it. The doctor told me, she said, wait about, this was in August of two years ago. She said, wait a few minutes, and then if it ain't right by in four, three or four months, we'll go in there, I'll put it and get it back together. Mm -hmm. This day that I'm um, still out of place. Mm -hmm. This show is still out of place right now, to this day. Mm -hmm. To this day. Before that, two years before that, in 2012, the elevator fell with me in it at the VA hospital. I asked for the paperwork. They said, well, we, we wait for it to come from Las Vegas. They make sure they get from Las Vegas before two years. So within two years, you can't file nothing. They make sure they didn't get there. They make sure they didn't get yeah. I couldn't get that paperwork so I could sue them. You could have gotten it. How? I, I, every, every channel I went, everywhere I went out there, they, 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 they said, that, that's me. called getting an attorney. For them to get it, okay? They get an attorney. Anything can be subpoenaed, okay? Mm. You wait. Oh, my. oh my God. Is there a lot of. Over two years now? Is there a lot yeah. of. Yeah. Two thousand two, I fell in the elevator. Paperwork involved. Hey. Oh, no, no. The, you uh, don't wait on them. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. I no, no, it's only one document yeah. you need, unless you go yeah. to the, straightly into the, the VA <laughs> office. You just go in there with your ID. Well, there are attorneys out there. They would have. Yeah. But with us, we do it electronically. It takes about two to three days. We just sign a form. We send it in. And boom. We'll get it. Sometimes they'll print out automatically. Sometimes you have to wait a week or two to for having them to send it to you. Definitely. Yeah, but that, they're in a certificate of eligibility. I'll tell you. That's, yeah, that's a part of it. That's a part of it. So definitely, and DD214 will help that, that's part of what you, to get your certificate of eligibility. And so, like I was saying earlier about the, if you're 100% dis dis on disability, yeah. but if you do, there's tax exemptions, and Alameda County has a tax, a tax exemption. So you can buy a home, and while you're in the middle of buying a home, you can apply for this, and then they will eliminate your taxes, and you'll be able to qualify for more. That's terrible. Yeah, definitely. So. The huge, huge benefit is you're saving five, six hundred dollars in taxes yeah. a month. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the ladies, yeah, so the people that still work out there, they, they can't they have to go to this office. I go to this office all the time. Yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of it, of, of uh, buying a home. It's very, it's very, it's not, it sounds, it's, it's a lot, it's not as simple as it is, but it's in, 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 in terms it pretty is simple. So, um, housing payments, they include. I was so hurt years back. Where they treat me? I thought you'd go to NBC to investigate. Yeah, yeah. Then, then yeah. I thought about it twice. I said, no, they ain't putting time he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't yeah. kill me. I was just about it. Yeah, yeah. And off me because I'm getting it to the So they do stuff like that. Uh, oh, they're putting in your medication. Yeah. People with the money. 
You'd be surprised. The medication, I can't understand why the medication oh, yeah. that they give us. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of it. Down the line, oh, it ain't, it ain't working. It caused um, the objective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. But, it's, hard. It's, 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 a lot of, it's a lot of foreign investors. They're getting some money. Yeah. A lot of foreign oh, yeah. investors. Yeah. A lot of... Uh, most of them are like Asian, you know, to, usually they're Asian because yeah. they're, we need to, we need to fix they're getting basically I don't think that's the like no interest fix. on the cash they're buying from China <laughs> that or from whoever they're getting it from, you know, that that's why it gets, so now it's starting to slow down yeah. regarding that, but still, right. it's still, uh, they have, they try still to competitive. Of it's the, I mean, look at Oakland, um, that, uh, that client that bought from Texas, yeah. she bought this a two-bedroom one bath right off the seminary for 550 you know, it was yeah. fully remodeled, but five oh, for five fifty. Yeah, two hundred one back. Ninety days, you got all your benefits. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's getting Once expensive. Once you pay boot camp, go to a duty station. And then uh, you get even East Oakland is getting expensive as well. Yeah. West yeah. Oakland over a million dollars yeah. now. If you, if you yeah. look at certain homes. They didn't like when I was in Charleston, South Carolina, and it, 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 I met the girl, right? She was German and Indian in nineteen seventy. Okay. Listen to me, 1970. In Concord? We're walking around holding hands. Oh, right? You can see Concord's yeah. getting expensive. <laughs> With no color? No yeah. from Walmart. Look at the car, looking at you. Oh, yeah. You know, they're trying to wonder the guys on my ship. We said, uh, Another good area. Oh, yeah, definitely. A uh, good area is probably further, right? further, oh, yeah. further than the valley of the cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Two days so later, Stockton, you get half the stock in 200,000. Not a problem. And that's commute, though. That's the commute. In Antioch, Pittsburgh, but... The commute now, right? So you have to be close to bar or train or something. Definitely, definitely. So that's what you have to do to... Uh, out of state is fine. It's not a problem. The only thing is that if you do go out of state, you got to make sure that you, your other job, you already have your job established out there. You're transferring over or in the same line of field. And it shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. And the, out of anywhere except California, everything's pretty, pretty reasonable. You get houses for about 100... 150,000. Um, yeah, you go to Vegas or something like that, you get for 100,000, not a problem. Arizona, um, Utah, pretty good, you know, everywhere, even Seattle and things like that. Yeah. up in Utah? Oh, yeah, very, it's beautiful out there. Huh? It's beautiful in Utah. Ain't beautiful in California? Not enough for sure. The weather, for sure. Huh? <laughs> the weather and the ladies, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, the fire. Yeah, yeah so. They have the snow. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of just buying a home. So uh, one of the things that are included in the home payment is uh, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Um, good thing with the veteran loan, there's no mortgage insurance which, or PMI, if a lot of people say that. And what that is is an insurance to protect the bank if somebody were to default. Okay? So that's, that's usually on everything else except the vet, vet, VA loan. VA loan, they exempt that at all because it's guaranteed by the veteran, veterans. So. So yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to walk up to me. I'm here to answer any questions. Uh, if you want to help with that as well, just uh, see what we need. Just let me know. There's a certificate of eligibility. I hope you guys have that. Thank you, guys. Thank right. you. All right. Okay, the next individual. Uh, we will be hearing for Sandra. The lady was sitting up here, but she's feeling a little ill. But she's a little ill. But she has a replacement. And this is the real estate agent hey. who's going to work off for you. Give my hand. Give my hand, y'all. Give my hand. Yeah, give my hand. Hey. real estate lady. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, You're licking her toes, right? <laughs> Come here, Oh. Hi, everyone. My name is, my name is Tish Charles. I'm, I work at, along with Sandera Thompson at Berkshire Hathaway, um, as well as a, alongside Mike here. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, me as our business um, as realtors and how we can assist you with the home purchase, with your home purchase. Sorry. You need camera. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're on camera. What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, we're going to beat that out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to beat that out. Beep, beep, beep. He <laughs> made a mess behind me. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, no more distractions. So today, um, I just wanted to mention to you a little bit about the home buying process and how we as real estate agents can help you along the way. 
Um, alongside working with Mike, who can help you with the financing, finding out how much you qualify for, once you identify that amount and the location you want to uh, purchase in, we help you locate the home, we take you through the inspection process, and um, alongside and alongside with you, working with the selling agent, identify any um, or help you along with the questions to answer any questions you might have along the process um, to help you move, get the keys to your your first home. I'm sorry, I was kind of caught off guard today. <laughs> um, also. Um, within that process, we are able to um, coach you along the way in terms of learning what to identify, being a new homeowner, not knowing, <coughs> most people won't know exactly the things to look for, and so that's why you want to hire a professional agent to help you learn more about what to look for when you're purchasing a home, especially one that's not new, that's been renovated or anything, to identify, you know, if the kitchen floor is straight, um, if the roof needs to be replaced, and so forth. Um, so the idea is to protect you along the process. Um, if there's any questions for you, we are um, available to answer your question. Um, we will have an open floor floor this evening afterwards to address your concerns and um, provide one-on-one -on -one consultation if you have individual concerns that might just suit your needs. So if you're in bankruptcy or you have individual needs that you want to discuss and don't want to make it um, out in public, we can set up a, a consultation privately, okay? Um, but if you have general questions, the floor is open for your general questions. I have a question. Okay. Um, I've heard on multiple times that um, those who purchase homes, sometimes they're sitting on um, oil or stuff like that. Like, how, do you guys know anything about like purchasing yes. that too? Yes, like, course. just in case your house was sitting on gas so or something. We study that, of course. We study, you know, land and and we start. We have their surveyors for certain things like that, mm -hmm. which is why you bring us in. So we would identify. And she's passing out our contact information as you know. We're sitting. I'm talking. Mm -hmm. But um, we identify those things for you because most people don't know. Most general, you know, the general public are not aware of those items. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying, for example, in what they call a commercial zone, he was talking about zoning earlier, where you can only put a storefront or you can only put a gas station, whereas you buy in residential zoned areas. Okay. We help you identify things like that. Okay. There might be a building, someone built the house and constructed it themselves in the wrong zone, for example. Mm -hmm. We identify those things for you. We help you, um, mm -hmm. we'll do a search and go mm -hmm. through that process for you okay. or with you. Okay. okay. Something to tag along with that is that you can also buy, depending on the property, the property has to be slightly bigger than, mm -hmm. uh, so say if there's a property that has, you know, it's a two unit and it has a uh, storefront property. You can definitely buy that out of time as long as the living space is a little bit, it's 51% more than the, the space, the space for, the, for the store. And you can buy it as a first time home buyer, not a problem. Okay, and, and have it insured and all that. And and we want you to stay with our, with our agents, with our people, because they're, gonna, they're, they're glad that you served and they want to be here. They could be somewhere else, but they want to be here working with veterans. Okay? You're not going outside the room. You know what I'm saying? We're not going outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you stay with us because a lot of you, when you file your when you file your paperwork, I'm going to be the one filing for your benefits. I want you to get your service connected and not service connected. I want you to get your your PTSD benefits. You paid into a pension. They're not giving you nothing. You paid into a pension. All you're doing is getting your money back. So once you um, obtain your certificate, your certification um, to make your home purchase, uh, we can assist you with um, making sure that you are eligible for the homes that are available for the purchase. So for example, um, Mike was mentioning earlier about um, you being able to take your certification and going outside of California or, come in, you know, or staying in California. We can help you. We're professionals in that area, and we can help you identify 
you know, what works and what doesn't work by use of your certificate. Okay. So I have a question. Another okay. one. So you said for veterans, they can get approved up to, you said, a million dollars, right? <laughs> if you got that type of income. If you have okay. the income to So it. say but, they but get approved for $350,000, but the home is that they want is 800 or so number one so that's one of those things so the whole reason why you want to get uh, pre-approved the whole reason why you want to get pre-approved with Mike first is to identify how much you can afford right so you don't want to go out and look at million dollar homes and you know you can't you afford a ten thousand dollar a month payment Right. You want to look at homes that you know you can afford. Mm -hmm. You know, I know my income is this amount. I know I can afford $1,000 a month. Or I know I can afford $2,000 a month. Mm -hmm. We know by, you know, you saying, even if you can afford $5,000 a month, but you tell us as your agent, your professional agent, that I only want to spend $2,000 a month. I know I can afford $5,000 a month, but I don't want to spend that much. I'm going to buy me a luxury car when I get my house, you know. Yes, Whatever it is. We're here to sit and help you through that. You know, you don't have to buy at your maximum purchase power. So although the, the bank may tell you, you, you qualify for a million dollar home, you know, where you can spend $10,000 a month, you're not obligated to spend all of that money, although it's available to you. Okay, got you. Okay. So if they and so we you can for sit, a high amount, yes. you can still take a lower amount to go towards You're more than welcome to. Okay. Now, on the other hand, let's say you're approved for 400000 Okay? You're approved for 400000 It's very rare right nowadays to find something like that in, in the city of Oakland, right? You, it's probably at about 480 490 right about now for a comfortable home, at, at you know, a three-bedroom home, for example, okay? So... Say you find a home, but you only qualify for 400, and the home you really want is 425,000. Throwing that out there, you have to come up with the additional 25,000 to make the difference if you can afford to do that, because you only qualify for a loan amount of 400,000. And now, with the 400,000, you have the 25,000. They gave you the 400,000. The home is purchased now. Now you're paying back the bank the 400,000. Correct. Now. They tell you, just like a buying, purchasing a car, that it's going to take, with the money that you're making consistently, this is how long it would take for you to pay this home off. Whether that's 10 years, so for 20 them. years, they're going to tell you that. Yeah. Now, but what happens if something falls off with the, the veteran where they don't no longer has that have that job? Or they can't afford that amount anymore? And, <laughs> and then you got to sell it? No. Would they, well, I mean, but would, so, is it known that they would say, okay, you're now make you can't pay it. Um, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Like you can't pay five hundred dollars an extra. So it's a fixed payment. So you look at it like this. Today you're renting. Let's say your rent is eight hundred dollars a month. Okay, and it's not yours. You're gonna stay there until your landlord goes up on the rent or whatever the case may be. I don't know, you know how it's designed for you in your rental situation. But you can't paint the walls unless you ask permission. You can't change the wallpaper unless you ask permission. It's, when it's your own home, you can rip the floor out and take, you know, rip the carpet out and put hardwood floors if you want to. It when it's yours, it's yours. And, and let me, so, <coughs> to let me end, answer the question about, I'm talking to you about. We're not worried about no veteran losing no job. Because y'all got benefits. Oh. That's what you got to understand. Okay. You got oh. benefits. Oh. I don't care about you losing no job. You get $3,000 for service-connected, non-service-connected benefits. That's what you got coming to you. $3, okay? How do you get 3000 because you get a hundred, get up to hundred percent, eighty percent. Yeah, and we're gonna make sure you get that eighty percent. That's why I was showing you these documents. Anytime you file, you must accompany it with Title Thirty Eight. That's what they've been keeping from you. That's why you don't know your rights about benefits. I don't care about no veteran losing no job. You get three thousand for service connected. You get PTSD money. You're also getting uh, non-service connected money. There's PTSD too. So we're trying to make sure you get your 100%. Does that have to be connected to service? It's either service connected, you had hurt while you were in the service, and we can go back and prove with your records. We will subpoena all your records. Or if you get discharged, you get discharged and you get hurt. You still covered with your pension. So I don't care if you don't work or not. He don't care, but the bank cares. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay.
Okay. Making three thousand dollars a month. I know they ain't going well. You can buy some property, and you also got this in your in your a feather in your cap. So the one thing about working with us. Wait, let me let me talk about, about, about this little feather in the cap. You veterans can also work with the VA for veterans who are losing properties, and we'll turn it over to them. If they lose the property, you'll save a vet, okay? You can buy that veteran's property. You got a bunch of foreclosures. Typically, everybody's in these homes around here, like everything's hunky-dory, it ain't. You can get some foreclosed property like to deal that. with, okay? So you got options with the type of money you're getting from PTSD, service-connected, and non-service-connected benefits. I like that. And employment. And employment, yeah. We, you know, we, uh, we have uh, jobs right now for a security company that's working with an SPOA, and that is $20 an hour for security guards. We work with people who are offenders coming back in society. Our program with them is to make sure they buy a home. So if someone comes out of jail, they need a job, we got jobs for them right now. We just get to get some more contracts with Carl Juniors, okay? okay. So we're always uh, looking for jobs from longshoremen, warehousemen, truck drivers, I love that. okay, uh, for veterans so they can qualify to buy some property. Yeah, you come back. After these messages. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just to add on to that, as you uh, identify with Mike how much you can qualify for, um, we help you, we coach you, we want you to win. We want you to buy something you can't afford. So in the case any, a major event happens in your life um, and your income is affected, you don't lose your home. So we work with you to help you identify what's going to be right for you. We're not just going to try to put you in a home to sell you a home. We're going to help you, you know, achieve in the process, okay? You gotta look at home like as, as an investment, long-term investment. Yeah. A long-term investment because over time you you, you uh, build equity, right? And what is equity? Equity is whatever whatever you owe the, whatever the property you owe all the property and whatever the market says it's worth, right? So if you owe three hundred thousand but the house is worth a million, now you have seven hundred thousand dollars in equity. So you can use that to buy the property to bet, <coughs> make investments in the stock market, um, open a business, things like that, or even you know or give back to charity, you know, opening your doing an event or something like that, so it's so definitely, so me and Tish and I and Sandy, we look at everything, make sure that you guys, that's why I said one of the things that we're qualifying is affordability, right, because we want to make sure, yeah, you might be able to buy for a million dollars, but do you really want to buy for a million dollars, you know? Yeah. You, I got, I got a question. Okay. When it was said that, like, 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 I, I, I went through the hood bass thing, right, for me. and he was saying, do you have that? Voucher that, 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 that I don't have. They, they said they said it out loud, mm -hmm. but they didn't send me an actual piece of paper saying this. You got this down here, and I, I did good. I, I have no complaints out the whole time that uh, the period of, that you know some probation that I went through, right? But I'm going to ask another question. The question is, if you got the hood bad voucher and said like you want to buy a home, have, right? I don't think Mike know anything about yeah, the hood bad. Okay, okay. He doesn't know anything about the hood bad. Okay. I do. That, that's for um. I know that's for. Uh, okay. That's for um, okay. homeless veterans. It's a hood bash. That's what it's for. Okay. Yeah, it's but, uh, a bash. Uh, it's like a, like a Section 8 certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Veterans on Section 8. Okay, but my thing is, right, <laughs> if you got a hood bash voucher, right? Let, let, it, let, let the commander, uh, all equivalent. Let commander. Say it again, commander. A hood bash is equivalent to any veteran being on Section 8. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's it's straight equivalent. The yeah. same rights you get as yeah. any sec, Section Eight recipient is the same as a HUD badge. Right, right. And and if you're going for a house, all you got to do is release the HUD badge. That's what I would ask. See, because you don't get both of us. Because that's what I was asking. Okay. If you don't, if, you, if I'm already a HUD badge, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna buy a home. I got to give up the hood it's, be, it's just like having Section 8, but that's exactly what I heard. Yeah, that's what I, I've see, been doing it, yeah. I've been doing it for my, while, my so. daughter, My daughter was asking me about that, right? Because mm -hmm. she don't want to move to Las Vegas, right? So uh, she said, well, I can stay here. She she has Section 8, but since she couldn't find her place in town enough, mm -hmm. they put her back on the list. She had to go back through it again. Mm -hmm. Same thing with HUD bash. Mm -hmm. If you don't find so the place in time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so to educate you guys about HUD bash, mm -hmm. eventually they're supposed to be homeless. So once you go to the get your counselor, go for the, do the proper procedure, mm -hmm. 
they will issue you a HUD badge because no veteran is going to be homeless. Once they, you know, report to the, the agency, they turn on the faucet for their money. That's when they start getting you getting your money for your pension. You got to get your money for your pension. Three thousand dollars a month. I know you can buy some property with three thousand dollars a month. So turn on the faucet, y'all. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> turn on the faucet. Well, I turn the faucet on and I say the little game. <laughs> well, I'm in the process trying to get non-service connected money. Okay. Right now, I file, I file for tendonitis. Okay. Like, okay, okay, they the send me for this hearing. Yeah, they, hearing. they send me for I, Friday. I got to go to the hearing for the, the test over in Burlingame. Okay. So once that approved, and then I'll give me like, I think that's 10 or 15% service connected money. Is there anything else, veteran? Is there anything else wrong with you? I don't know. They, they're talking about they lost my record. No, I'm talking about you know if anything else is ailing your body. Eyesight, back, everything. Well, that's what you're going to apply, okay. along with the tendonitis. Oh, okay. Like, I, that's why I gave you that paperwork to show you when you got multiple things wrong with you, that's how your your uh, percentage goes up okay. for, your, for your benefits, okay? So if you're at 30... That'll jack you up to 100. That's what we're looking for, the 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay in touch with you. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. Good. 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 Get all your benefits. Get all your benefits. I'll stay with you, Commander. Once a week, I'm going to call you. Get your money on. I'm trying. Because the black veterans ain't going to have a chance unless you go by the rules and regulations to get your money. Okay? That's what we're talking We have We have veterans that's, that's, that's working for truck drivers and Forklift driving Alameda, we saw the Alameda College, so they could be forklift operators, truck driving schools over at Alameda College, you know what I'm saying? So we'll be sending you veterans that got money, which is working, to, to, to utilize their certificate. But for the veterans who, 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 who are likely all worn out, they need their benefits before you take the bucket. Service connected and not service connected, PTSD is the way to go. I, I can still run a hundred yard dash in about 13 seconds. Well, I'll do something with you. I guess it's a good All right, any more questions? Hey, hey, go for any more questions for the lady? No. Nope. Give her a hand. Give her a hand, y'all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, like I said, you're able to work with the VA to save a veteran from losing their property. You know, once you, you can co contact them. You got a bunch of foreclosures. Now, if you've got a bank account, I got one. you can request a list of foreclosures and list where you want to move to, Whoa. what city you want to live in. Get out of here. If you've got a bank account, I do. then you can turn over the mic. After we work with your credit, we got to work with your credit. You got to, you know I'm saying, that's why every session we have, we come up with the credit repair first. Start doing that immediately. So in about four months, you're looking good. About four months, you should be looking good. Okay? That's why you should email those people for the credit repair uh, Lexington Law. Get on board with them so that you can make sure that you start repairing your credit. Get that stuff off your credit that's not supposed to be there, off your credit report. Okay? This is Commander. The, the, the gentleman doing the hairs is... Commander Bruce. Bruce Alton Broussard. Right, Broussard. Art Bruce. <laughs> and you see he has skill of cutting hair, and we're trying to talk to veterans about entrepreneurship. So he'll be getting his loan soon to open up his own barbershop. He used to be on Treasure Island. I remember Treasure Island. Yeah, he used to be on Treasure Island. I went, I went through the wall, I went to the wall house, graduated from that day. Okay. But now we're talking about you veterans, spending your certificates, open up that small business, buy that piece of property. I got some nice artwork, too. Well, go up to your and building I, and, and sell I, it. And I write books. You know, our ultimate goal is to work with West Africa, hosting a conference at the Marriott, so we can talk to African Americans who want to open up a business, trading with them, international trade, just like Chinatown. Just like Filipino town, just like Mexicans with the NAFTA deal, you feel me? We're working up on our trade agreement with 16 West African nations. They got banks, they got their own money, and their own credit cards that look like us. And they want to interact with us. So stick with us. So we try to make sure you, we, we generate money all around you, especially using your certificate. 
Go on and get your service connected, nine service connected PTSD benefits. No the proper forms to file. 38. 38, huh? Title 38 is what we're up under. Have you guys went down to uh, East Oakland Community Project for their, the veterans there to come here? Um, it's been so hard for the black veteran to get uh, their benefits. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black veterans go over to that uh, 12th floor and ask for their certificate. They say, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. Until I take my black behind over there and tell them, you need to give them a certificate of eligibility. Then they'll send it to you. You see, they got all type of people up there that look like us and whites that don't want you to have these certificates because that's power in your hands. That's the main thing you should worry about, go getting that certificate. Then you, you feel power. I'm telling you, you're going to feel power in your hand because you got something to f***ing with. No money down. You buy property at the VA. You go foreclosure. Mike got a list of properties. Sandra got a list of properties that you can, you can go buy. But you got to get your credit together and get your money flowing so you can be, so you can qualify. So if I want to order that tomorrow, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I plan on doing. That's yeah. what I'm asking now. 12 floor. 12 floor. Right. I go in there and ask, do I need some paperwork to take with you? You need your social security number. I got a DD-214. No. So they're doing a social security number now. You need your DD-214 form for later on, but your social security number will do. I just was up there Thursday getting four veterans their money. And so so they, that day, they, 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 if I give them that information today, they not, they'll mail me my certificate. Yeah. Make sure it's going to a place where you're going to be at. Yeah. Once I get the... The then I contact you. Right. And you start working on your credit repair. Credit repair. Can't do nothing. Can't step to him till that's all taken care of. But we, like I told you, I gave you that information. We're going to make sure we stick with you. This, these workshops are all year long. Okay. We just move around the area. Them. We just came out of, we just came out of Richmond. Okay. I want to be able. You know what else I, what I'm, um, say like, I co-signed for you to buy a car. You're my son, right? I co-signed for you to buy a car. Then we come and find out six months down the line, the car's got a, a recall on it. But he didn't came pick the car up because we, we took it to the shop. And he didn't came to the Chevrolet shop and pick the car up. The, 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 Y'all done sent somebody to it. Do that. And I co-signed for it, right? That was in 2012. What do I look like now? They, they're telling me my credit is bad. It probably is. But I gave you the law firm to help you with that. I understand that. You're going to kick that to the curb. You're going to work with that. Okay. That's the only way to do it. You can't run from them. you got to work with it, okay? okay. That's what uh, Commander Bruce back there got his credit all straightened together. And let me tell you, let me tell you guys, the reason why these benefits are affected to you is because you can't work. That's why you get your benefits. You're unemplorable mm -hmm. unless you open up that bank, that uh, small business on the side, okay? That's why you're going to get your, 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 your benefits up under Title 38. I like that. So if you guys can clean up behind you, we're going to end up this session, except for the ones that still going to get haircuts, uh, so we can get up out of here, and we'll make sure we go and buy the House of Dignity and drop off more information for the next session. The next session should be about 30 days, because y'all should have, next time I see you, you should have your certificates. Or they tell you, we mailed it. Okay, so you guys help pick up and clean up so we can leave this area clean, please.